today's demo is to look at scrambled eggs where we will investigate a little bit about food science and also look at different parts of the cooker and how to use them to prepare our scrambled egg. So the ingredients we're going to use today are obviously eggs and they are going to provide us with protein. We have got a little bit of butter here that we're going to add it for flavour but that's going to provide us with fat. We're going to use a little bit of milk. Milk will also provide us with some protein and then we have got our bread to make it a toast and that will provide us with our starchy carbohydrate. We've also got salt and pepper which we'll use to season the scrambled egg. Firstly, switch on at the wall. We're looking for the spot that indicates the grill and we're going to turn it on to number six. We're going to make sure it's turned on to number six. You must always open the door. Now this is our grill pan and we will use oven gloves to lift this in and out of the oven, of the top oven. So the grill works through radiation and that means the heat will come from above and it'll radiate down onto the product, onto the bread, and that will cause it to brown. The next step is to prepare the eggs. The first thing we do when we have eggs is we check for the line mark. This shows that they've been vaccinated against salmonella. We check the date and we check there's no damage or any cracks. Once we've done that, we hold the egg in the palm of our hand, one hard sharp crack, and then we pull apart the egg into the jug and we discard our shell. And then we just check it's okay. Then again, we check for the line mark, we check for the date, we check there's no cracks, and then one hard sharp crack. Now, what you'll see is that I have put the eggs in separate dishes here. And the reason for that is so we can check that there's no shell. There's no shell there, they're fine. And then we're just gonna put them into the one jug. Then we're gonna whisk them. So to whisk, you use a fork. And what we're trying to do here is we're combining all the egg together. So the white and the egg yolk together. Then we're going to add in a little dash of milk. We're going to add in some salt and pepper. This will season the scrambled eggs. And we'll give them another little quick whisk. And that's ready to go into the pan to be scrambled. Once the grill has been preheated, it's now time to make our bread into toast. Place the bread onto the grill pan and then use your oven gloves to lift the grill pan into the grill. Now remember the signs behind this. Inside here, we've got starch in the flour and under the application of dry heat, that will turn to dextrin and that's what's gonna give us our golden brown color. But it's really important to keep checking our toast because we don't want it to burn. Once the bread is in the grill, it's time to start to do our scrambled eggs. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a little knob of butter into the pan and we're gonna melt that. So again, we look on the dials, we find the right dial that's got the spot on. We're gonna turn that up to a medium heat and that's gonna allow us to melt the butter in the pan. at this stage. The pan handle is above the bench. It's not above the, the cooker door, it's above the bench and that's for health and safety. So we're going to use a wooden spoon because wood does not conduct heat, whereas if it was a metal spoon, the metal would conduct heat, it would get hot and it would burn our hands. After a very short time, you can see our bread has turned to toast. And again, that's because the starch in the flour has turned to dextrin, which has given us the golden brown colour. And that's all to do with the dry heat, the radiant heat that's directing down onto the food. But we need to toast the other side. So we are just going to turn over the bread and then we're going to use our oven gloves to pop it back in again. But we need to be careful because we don't want to burn it. has 
has melted, it's time to start to make our scrambled egg. And what we'll find here is another bit of food science. So we're going to pour in the egg mixture and then we're going to stir. It's really important that you stir all the time. Now remember what we said, proteins coagulate and set on heating. So we're watching for this to change from a liquid to semi-solid. So we need to keep watching it because it's going to happen very quickly. Make sure you continue to stir all the time because it'll stick to the bottom of the pan otherwise. So as you can see there, you can see it changing. You can see the egg starting to set into semi-solid. And that is our proteins coagulating and setting. You can see steam coming off, so any liquid is evaporating. And that is thickening our scrambled egg. So you can see it changing before our eyes. And there is our scrambled egg, ready to be served on our toast. Remember to switch off the hob and to switch off the grill once we are finished. When both sides of the toast are brown, now it's time to butter it and put it onto our plate. Always use a white chopping board when buttering our toast. And then we're going to slice it down the middle, ready to go on our plate. And then we're going to serve our scrambled eggs into the centre of the plate. And there we have our scrambled egg on toast with two bits of food science. The first is where the starch in the flour turns to dextrin, which gives us our golden brown colour on our toast. And then we have our eggs, which are full of protein, which coagulate and set on heating.